Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the cruise port of Abu Dhabi and visiting the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. So if you're on a cruise to Abu Dhabi, uh, we did this last year and it is an awesome port to visit. There's really one thing you're going to probably want to do and that is visit the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. Uh, what did you think about the mosque, Ali? Uh, well, we had actually been to uh, another port in United Arab Emirates uh, and to the second largest mosque. And so I was really looking forward to visiting the largest mosque in all of uh, United Arab Emirates. And it did not disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> it was really just magnificent, uh, an incredible structure. It was really exciting to get to go. Yeah, the scale <laughs> of it was much bigger than the other ones we'd been to. And so much so many more people there too mm -hmm. as well yes that too uh because not all mosques allow non-muslims to actually enter the mosque grounds and this is one of the ones that they do allow you to enter so it, it is very crowded because it is so famous it's even been in you know music videos <laughs> yeah um and so it's it's really a place, a destination where a lot of people want to visit when they're in Abu Dhabi, and it is 100% uh, worth the effort to do it. Okay, so talking about effort, how, how do you get there? What's the best way to go about visiting the mosque? Well, from the nice thing is that from the cruise port, it's very easy to uh, either get public transportation or to get um, taxi. And there's a bunch of taxis just sitting outside. You walk out there, you, they speak English. You can tell them where you wanna go. You work out a price and then off you go. They take you and they drop you off. Now, uh, it was probably about uh, maybe like 20, 30 minutes um, to the mosque from the port, which is really not bad at all. And uh, you get to see so much of the city on the way there, all the beautiful skyscrapers. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous city. And um, it just, it was a fun ride actually, yeah. <laughs> just to go there. <laughs> uh, what about tickets? They cost anything or? It's actually free to visit, um, which was kind of mind boggling, but you do need a ticket because they only let a certain amount of people in at a time, even though it's real busy, they do still only, they limit so that they don't have, you know, gobs and gobs of people. And that way people aren't pushing each other. And if you want to take a picture, you can have access to doing that without a bunch of people in the picture with you. So that's, that's, uh, you know, really nice that they do control it that way there is a, a fee you can pay if you want to do the audio tour it's just a few dollars so it's not very expensive but to actually go um, to the property is is free okay so this is one of those places where cruisers are always trying to save money and if you're booking a ship tour mm -hmm. you're really just booking a taxi service uh, they're just gonna get you there but you're gonna get there quicker just walking off the boat and getting a taxi. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna do some DIY shore excursions on your mm -hmm. on your cruise, this is definitely, I would say, one port that mm -hmm. you can do it on your own. It's super simple, super easy. Yeah. And any taxi is gonna know where you're gonna wanna mm -hmm. go. So yeah, now a few tips I will tell you is they are extremely, extremely strict on their dress code, not just for women, but for men too. Um, so don't show up there in shorts and short sleeve shirt. Uh, you will not be permitted with that clothing. You'll have to borrow clothing there to put on over your clothes. You do have to pay a fee for borrowing the clothes in order to enter the mosque. And they are very strict with the head covering for women. Uh, it was very windy the day that we were there and several women's head coverings would kind of blow off a little bit and the security guards would tell them literally instantly put your head covering back on so it's very very strict and if you don't have if say you didn't bring something with you on the cruise that you could wear to cover you completely to go to the mosque they do like i said they do have clothing there it's not very expensive at all to borrow and they do launder it so it's not you know it's, it's really just not a huge deal it's absolutely worth you know the hassle uh to do this because the it's just unbelievable what you're looking at and the the luxury and just the the pure opulence of the, the work that they put into it yeah and one thing that surprised me was at the visitor center there's not only a lot of <laughs> bathrooms but there's also food so you can there's like uh restaurants. there were restaurants yeah. yeah so i was surprised by that it was uh, kind of like a mall 
actually yeah. the the visitor center has like some stores that you can shop in and the yeah. restaurants like you mentioned a bevy of restrooms <laughs> yeah now if you're coming from a cruise you probably eat before you leave and eat when you get back but if mm -hmm. you do get hungry you want to eat something yeah from a restaurant you can, you can mm -hmm. do that there yeah um so what about access can you just walk all over the place or are you limited to where you can go right and that's the thing is as i mentioned earlier uh most most mosques you cannot enter if you are not muslim and like i said they do give access to people at this particular mosque but the the access is restricted because they do have um actual worshipers attending uh prayer time and services and things like that so they don't really want the visitors to kind of you know mess up that experience for the worshipers going to the mosque so it is restricted it's very easy to follow to stay in the restricted area they've got it all roped off they've got security uh everywhere so you're i mean if you stray off the path it will be evident super quickly yeah, they'll, they'll <laughs> if you realize you're by yourself you've wandered into an unrestricted area and it will only be seconds before you are escorted back to the area where you should be <laughs> well i hope this has been a helpful video for you if it was please like it and subscribe to the channel and we will see you on the next video